And welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, and a happy belated Easter. <laughs> yes, it's Easter yesterday, actually. So today is Monday, and uh, they updated. They got uh, a big event going on for like a week where we can collect eggs. I'm not quite sure how we do it. I just barely uh, skimmed over what they added into it, but we can collect eggs from someplace. We can use them to... Um, oh my goodness, the frames here. <laughs> I have too many dinosaurs. Um... Let me turn something off real quick. Come on. It's just because I got so many names and dinosaurs right here that it's really, really bad sometimes. Alright. Um, so there's eggs we can collect. We can actually paint them. We can use them for recipes. There's a bunny rex. Uh, it's like the dodo rex, but it's... Uh, or maybe it's a bunny dodo rex. Something like that. So we can summon one of those, I believe, I saw when I was checking out the cooking pot. Uh, we can make things with them, but I'm not quite sure how we get the eggs. So I'll have to look into that before maybe the event ends. Um, but yeah, they also added uh, two big things. Caves. There's a snow cave, and now there's a swamp cave. Uh, they actually added the coordinates so you don't have to go searching for them, but I've actually already known where one of them is going to be this while. And I could whip out my GPS and go find it and show you, but it's literally right over here. <laughs> That's not my thing. I'm used to having it there. Uh, it's right there. I mentioned how I kind of seen something over here. Basically, when you're flying around, the cave entrances are like a window into the like world, and so you can kind of see them from a distance when there's no trees spawned in. And so I've always known this thing was there. Um, I just couldn't get to it because there's like a rock there that you couldn't mine. And so, yeah, there's the swamp cave. We'll go to the snow cave one day. I figured we're going to play around with this one. So I don't know what's going to be in it. I know it's a lot tougher than usual ones. So I might have to come back for supplies, but since our house is literally right here, we're going to just wing it the first time around and see what's in there. And then uh, we can always try again later, make sure this is loaded. I got both boomsticks, just in case, so we need heavy hitting or rapid fire. But yeah, it's supposed to be for a lot tougher um, cave system, so we'll see how tough it is. There's a T-Rex right over there I'm trying to not avoid. It's a female, so if she can lay some eggs, that'd be great. Get those every once in a while. Sneaky, sneaky here. Um, but yeah, it's like, yes! A cave right next to my base. Alright, so we'll go in here. So it'll be interesting to see what they did to make it a high end kind of cave system. Like, is there going to be necessary equipment that we need, like grappling hooks or other things? Got my flashlight on, my shotgun too. Might have to gamma it up while it's loading. Oh, well, it's not too bad. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, it actually got a little bit brighter, too. Alright, uh, I'm gonna gamma just a little bit. I'm thirsty already. Hopefully there's water in here. So, gamma... Let's go, like, 2.75. Our usuals. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Oh, look at this. This is cool. So it's a lot different looking than the regular caves. We got mushrooms. Definitely feels like a swamp. It's a little too bright. There's a bunch of uh, moss and stuff all over. Oh wow, we're super hot, and we just got in here. Ow, what was that? I just, I'm taking damage for some reason. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, all right. It wasn't doing it as soon as I got in here. Is there? Uh, I wonder if these mushrooms are creating some kind of gas. Cause usually when you're you're really really, you know overheated or stuff you're slowly losing damage this is like a burst I wonder if there's something in the air because it kind of has a haze to it if you notice that's taking a lot of hits all right <laughs> well this could be why they meant high-end we maybe we need the scuba gear like I need the oxygen tank and stuff let me go get that stuff and I'll be right back and I'm definitely gonna get something for the heat all right <laughs> that t-rex is like right down the hill here um, we got stuff. We got, uh, more water. We got, I don't know if I'm going to need these. You don't need them to breathe underwater. But, we might put them on in case. Maybe it's like a, maybe keep the nose plugged? I don't know. I'm thinking that's what it is, though. Some kind of gas in this thing. And it's causing some poison. Let's see if we can keep poisoned again. Oh, man, the water is, it's hot today, guys. Oh, I'm taking damage still. How much damage? Whoa, we're taking like 20 damage a hit. Alright, uh, let's try with the goggles on. So, 253. 
Oh my goodness, yeah, that's still ridiculous amount. Um, maybe we need a full suit. Like, I'm gonna go... <sighs> Alright, we're gonna do this. I feel like there's gonna be some prizes in this game. Let's just take a little peek to see what's else in here. I can take a few hits. It's not... So it definitely helps having the scuba gear. But it still hurts. Like, I feel this is gonna be one of those caves that's gonna be full of surprises. bunch of mushrooms we gotta get out I'm gonna start hurting myself too bad and I won't go to run out ah! all right yep we're gonna go home get more scuba gear I might make some uh, brews some medical brews and we're gonna try with some more scuba gear and I'm thinking we're gonna have to get rid of flak armor and put on something for the heat because I am just burning up like even if I take this right now oh that does help tremendously Alright, we might not need to worry about the permanent cloth stuff then. Alright, let me go get more scuba gear though. <laughs> Alright, we're set. Let's try this one more time. Okay, got a crossbow with grappling in case we need to get out of danger. Or get to some places maybe. I got stimulants because I feel like there's something in here that could be nasty. I'm thinking poison, swamp, scorpion, snakes. Could be a lot of stuff that wants to knock us out, so that could be handy. I got food, I got my pike, I got uh, weapons, I got grenades, yes I make grenades just in case. I got this and I got our armor, our scuba gear, and I got extra water and extra bullets. Alright, I didn't really need that. I should have left that at home because it's my only copy. Actually, I'm going to have one at my other base, but let's get in here a little bit. And let's pop one of these and let's put on the scuba gear and see if this will stop the damage. <laughs> I hope so, otherwise it's going to be kind of hard to really get into this cave without taking that damage. Like, even if we're just taking a little bit, I could pop some... Oh, we're still taking a little bit of damage. But that's all I can wear is that. There's no... Like... It's not the heat, is it? The heat's just not that much. Oh my goodness. Alright. There's one last thing I could think of. Maybe it's the ghillie armor. I don't know why, but the heat maybe could be part of it. I don't know. We'll see. How much are we taking right now? 250. Oh, we're taking like hit points. Eight points. We're not going to get very far. All right. <laughs> one last trip home, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is, is that it's why they're making it hard for these caves. Is that you have to be high enough to learn these recipes so you can use... Oh, we're still taking damage. How much damage? It's still quite a bit. Alright. We're just going to have to go with the ghillie armor. I don't feel like going back home. Well, let's see. We have to get into this cave. All this pre Oh my goodness, there's a scorpion right there. Alright. Oh no, it's a spider. Sorry. I thought I saw a scorpion tail. Oh, I got covered. 296? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Shotgun. Shotgun. No, oh, I just took the medical brew. 296? Why is there such a high level spider in that cave? <laughs> That's ridiculously high. Like, you, you can only go without changing like the actual code of the game or using a mod. You can only go up to 120 for spawns on dinosaurs in a cave. So why is there a level 296 in that cave? <gasps> that better be just be a bug, right? Literally a bug. Get it? Bug? Oh, okay. Uh, let's get some of this stuff on. And we borrow a pike. I don't have any extra guns, I don't think. Well, I do. I lie. I have lots of guns. I have guns and bullets. Let's try to at least get our stuff back. Um, let's go ahead and take this rifle. And all the bullets are on the bird. And let's try and get our stuff. That would be great. That's ridiculous. 300. A level 300, pretty much. Spider just took us out. I was piking it. I shot it. 
with my long neck, which is an apprentice, I believe. Like, how are you supposed to kill these things? You know what? Just for good measure. I don't even know if I can shoot this last round, so we're not going to leave. We're just going to leave that. Alright. Let's do this. Let's make sure we got our bases covered. Because I don't feel like uh, trying to get my stuff twice. Okay, that's loaded. Load this puppy up. I uh, seriously, if I can't kill with a rocket launcher, <laughs> like how are you supposed to do this solo in single player mode? I don't know. Without cheating? I mean, I have no idea. No idea. I lost my my goop stuff, so we're gonna get overheated. But luckily, I was right near the entrance. Oh man, we might have to try this at a later time. I don't know how to stop the poisoning. Like, is there maybe no way to stop the poisoning? So you have to have, like, mass health. But still, are you supposed to compete with the bugs if they're level that high? I need a bigger gun. I need, like, a flamethrower or something. Because these rocket launchers only can shoot so many rounds before they break. Alright. My stuff should be... Right there in that little baggie. And we're going to try and kill one of these buggers take all. And let's go ahead and throw this stuff on really, really quickly. Alright. For giggles, yeah, we're taking like seven hit points. Where did that little thing go? Revenge will be mine. I didn't even get that far in this cave, too. That's the scary part. Alright, it's already hot, so I might as well use that. And I definitely would need tons of medical brews to go in here. What? No way! Did you guys see that? There's like level 400 bugs in here. 359. No way. I'm out. Level 400! 350! I am out. <laughs> I did not want those. Oh no, I am out. That's just way too high. I would need so much stuff for this thing. I would need more medical brews. I would need more health. I gotta figure out why I keep getting poisoned. Um, bug repellent. I think bug repellent might be actually a good thing to have in this cave because you could maybe sneak around some of those. Oh no, they came back for revenge. <laughs> I killed its brothers. Oh my god, 273! Go away! 328! 374! Oh man, give me my metal armor right now. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I can't even talk, I'm just flabbergasted. I am like. I didn't even get to grab anything from that cave except for my gear. <laughs> Yeah, flamethrower. They need a flamethrower for bugs. That's all I can say. Flamethrower. A rocket could be nice, but I mean, I think you would need at least two or three. That way, if you get in a pinch where you can't take them all out with one shot, you can reload and switch to a different gun. I mean, because the reload time's ridiculous. That's expensive though to have to use rockets on those things. It's the only thing I can think of. I don't know if you could kill them with a rifle. They're too small. Like a long neck. I shot that thing like two, three times, I thought. And it still didn't die. Alright, we're gonna go uh, recoup. I'm gonna let my health regenerate. And then uh, I'm gonna try for the snow cave. <laughs> I think that might be a little bit nicer for us. So I leveled up at least. Uh, since we are going in the snow cave and it got ridiculously hot super quick in that swamp one, I'm gonna boost mine. I have some. I only have like one decent piece of fur armor, so. I don't know if it's going to be enough. And we're actually going to learn the saddle before I forget for the beaver. So that if I happen to... Uh, by the way, I think I... I don't know if I mentioned this. I tried taming one earlier. And that's why I was home. is because I had to come back. Because they have very small torpor. So it woke up on me. And it ate all my fruit and vegetables. So I had to come back. And then I was like, oh, it updated while between sessions. So, Alright. <sighs> Let me get my stuff. And let's see if, oh, I don't even want to know what's going to be in the snow cave, but we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> we'll find out together. So, some weird things going on after we exited that uh, swamp cave. 
like there's a green haze everywhere it's a little harder to see because it's dark but as you can see it's kind of hazy like you can't really see clear and the horizon's kind of bright green and now there's weird look like I can see the fish they're glowing down there and the terrain here is kind of glowing it's cool looking but it's kind of weird um, but I had to come back here really quickly because we need probably some of this oh shoot I thought I had some in here I really did I thought I had some of that chili I brought the recipe and it's here someplace that oh I need another weapon too I need a pike in case things go south and I need to get something out of that cave I don't have an extra pike I thought I brought one here alrighty then I guess we're gonna have to yellow it <laughs> I really thought I had one in here. Um, I'm not even going to bother with those spears. Alright. Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. Um, again. But yeah. Uh, we're pretty much set. Everything the same. I don't need all the extra water, so I got rid of that. I got more food, because it's cold, so we need extra food. I got the same weapons. I got rid of the two barrel, because if there's going to be nasty things in this cave... That thing's not going to be able to kill them with just two shots, so I brought just the regular shotgun so we could rapid fire with it. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little more effective. I got the rifle too. I might actually leave the rifle. That's what I'll do. I'll leave the rifle with the bird um, and we'll try to go in there. That way I have some kind of weapon for if something goes bad. But yeah, we got our fur armor. I got the flak armor, so I'm going to leave that on the bird. Got a thatch. Now this cave is pretty cool. It actually was here... Um, kind of already when they introduced the snow biome and they redid it all. Like the swamp cave, that was just like a cliffside with some rocks that they put there. So it was covered up and then they introduced that cool entrance, which I really like that entrance. It really uh, kind of pops, you know, having that uh, smoother stone entrance way. But uh, this one was actually already here, this entrance way. And now I'm sure they just put a little hole in the back for it. But uh, it's pretty cool if you wanted to put like a little base in the snow. I kind of thought about it, but um, the only trouble is that you would get trapped in it. So maybe if you walled off the entranceway. But all you have to do is follow the river. I mean, you could literally go over the volcano and you can kind of see it from a distance. This hole in the world. But right over here where this river meets and curves into the biome here with all these ice sheets is right over here. And you'll see it as soon as we get closer that it's definitely an ice cave. <laughs> it's really cool. I like the snow biome. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> There's a gigantosaurus over here. Alright, well luckily I don't think you can get in this cave. It's right over there. Alright, there's no way I can kill it, so let's just get in the cave. That's ridiculous though. I didn't know they spawned in here. Alright, this is where we're talking about. See, I don't think I could get in here. But we'll park way in the back, just in case. And I'm back. My game crashed. I've never had that happen in-game. Usually when I'm loading in, it'll crash every once in a while, because it's a weird thing. Um, but I've never had it crash. Oh my god, he literally just went inside the cave, guys. <laughs> That's my only safe spot, and it went right in the cave. How? Why? Oh, alright. Let's, uh... <laughs> It's stuck in there now. Let's try to get it out, hopefully. Uh, I could use something to bait it out, maybe? It's stuck in there, though. <laughs> you stupid bugger. I want to go in this cave. Even if it kills me. Oh, he's way in there, too. His head's pointing the way that I don't want him to be pointing. Um, let's gam up. I had to redo my stuff. Let's do 2.75. The haze is gone, at least. You see how much clearer it is, though? Oh, man, seriously. Seriously. Let's uh, let's try to bait him out a little bit. What can I use? I can use a wolf. Oh, did he pop out? He's getting close. I don't even know how he got in there. Let's use one of these. Let's just use this wolf. It's a level 5. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't know if it'll actually try to eat this thing. We might have to go for it. Seriously, it's stuck in there! Is that gonna help? Where did it barked at us? It is so stuck in there, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna come out, and I don't want to go in there. How did you even manage that? All right, 
let's try this. I'm gonna have to save and quit again, and reload so that he can actually get through or he sure you get out of there. I don't want to deal with that. I have to deal with the cave. I'm not dealing with the gigantosaurus in the mouth of the cave because it's not coming out. Unless I can get it off camera, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, it's free and there's like so many nasty things. There's a T-Rex up there now. We're going to fly straight in here before he decides to come back. And we're going to go way back here. Way back here. I don't know what we're going to do if it ends up getting stuck in here and we're in here, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get in the cave. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty, guys. Look at this. All right, we're going to walk you in here. Just make sure we can. Oh, that's cool looking. All right, first things first, we're going to set up a little bit of a base here. We're going to set up our thatch foundation. I brought this stuff just think. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> what the heck is that? Is it outside the cave again? There's something big walking around here, guys. I hope it's not in this cave. Is it? You're, in, you're not following me anymore. I heard that. Alright, I don't think it could glitch its way this far away. This is cool though. I like the ice. <laughs> I am so nervous about this cave. What's this? A little, a little glacier meltage. Alright. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I see. They made it narrow so you can't actually fly in here. Alright. Let's go ahead. I think we should be fine back here. Let's go and um, get our stuff. I don't think I'm going to need to worry about a door, because I got those, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to need those. We're going to need the thatch for fire. I have stuff in case I need to make um, an extra fire pit. 16 stones. Let's grab a little bit of wood. And then, uh, what else do I need? I got food. Oh, I need my enduro stew. And then the rest of this is going to stay here, along with this rifle. Alright, what do I need? Maybe I'll put this on the hotbar. I got these in case we need to get ourselves out of trouble. Put those bullets in there, because I don't need them. Uh, I left one enduro stew in case I need it to go back in. And maybe we'll leave this in case we got some trouble and I need to maybe make like a choke point. So let's grab the foundation and the three beds. It is cold in here though, look at this. I got a nice cube. Okay. <laughs> really wish I had that chili, but I don't know what I did with the recipe. Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw one of these down. We should be fine. We can always reheat. I got lots of food. Let's throw one of those so they're ready. Let's go ahead put that back in there so we got an extra one. Let's set this up right here. Let's throw some beds on it. I think I can fit three on here because I'm standing in it. Obstructed. There we go. And just in case, I brought three instead of two. Alright, so we got food um, on the bird. I got the bed set up. I got the heat set up. I got extra clothes. We're ready to rock and roll, guys. Eat this last piece so I can throw that in there. And we're going to take this. And I got everything. So we got our grappling hook. I don't think there's going to be any flyers in here, so we should be able to use utilize this a little bit more. I mean, this dragon flies. I was not expecting that. But I don't know what to expect in this, to be honest. Snow cave. I don't know what could be in the snow cave. Okay, that was just me walking. Let's go ahead and throw this torch back on before I forget. Okay. I didn't bring my magnifying glass because I thought I could see the levels of dinosaurs with my, uh, what's this? That's a dead body. That's reassuring. <laughs> uh, I thought I could see, like, the levels in the name of dinosaurs when I had it, but apparently you can't. Alright, we got water. Oh! That w Oh, the water hurts. Oh, oh. Yeah, it does. I think it's just too icy. 
Oh, okay, so we don't want to go in water. I mean, I could make that, but let's see if there's an easier way. I like these crystals, too. Like, can I mine these ones? There's nothing around here. Let's go ahead and use this real quick. Oh, we can. So we can get stone if we need to to make another fire. I got wood. Uh, I don't know if I got enough flint. Okay, let's, what was on this? Grenades. That's cool, though. This is really pretty, but it's so deadly. <laughs> Both caves, they're pretty. I like how they're a lot more, you know, so much more different than those other ones. I like that. It's very deadly in here. At least I'm not taking that much damage from the cold. Can you mine these ones? No. But man, you can get a lot of crystals in this cave. Alright, let's um let's be honest. I'm I scared the poo out of me right there. <laughs> this cave's gonna be scary. But I'm gonna use a grappling hook as a measure in case. Okay. So there's only one way down here. Don't want to go down there. There's so many crystals. Mm -hmm. If you could manage to get crystals from this cave, you could have the market covered. I don't see anything down here, though. It's more water. But yeah, we could definitely probably get out if we needed to using the grappling hook. That's why I brought it for emergency cases. And also that way we can cling to the walls and then shoot stuff in the face from a distance. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try whatever I can not to die in this thing. Whatever measures. There's so many crystals. I'm just nervous that there's nothing spawned so far. Alright, good. We got ice uh, snowflakes. Still have ice cubes. So that's a good sign. Oh, this is cool looking too. Anything behind it? No, but you could put like a wall right here and you'd have a little safe spot, really. That's a good idea to remember this place. You might have to do that if you're doing this solo. I'm thinking we're, we're going to have to come back for sure and try this again later. And we might have to do that where we have like basically like checkpoints. So that we could slowly make progress into the caves. I just, I'm kind of nervous that there's nothing in here yet. Like, when we're going to try to leave, once we find out that we shouldn't be in here, we're going to get, like, swarmed by stuff. What's back here? What is that? What is that? Oh, my goodness. There's direwolves and monkeys in the cave. Direwolves and monkeys. I didn't think about direwolves. Oh, if they're high-level direwolves. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's do this then. I have like a minute, so I don't think we're going to finish this cave. We're definitely going to have to come back. There's still piranhas. Alright, let's shoot a piranha, and if we can kill one, then I'll know that there's high level stuff in here. And I'll know that we may not want to come back in here. I should be able to kill this thing. It's not moving anywhere. Pretty sure I'm hitting it. We should find out soon. Like checkpoints galore. Oh. Okay, I thought I fell through the world there for a second. Should be killing this thing. Oh, we're not killing it. Alright, let's stop this. Like, how are you supposed to get down there? I must have missed the cave. Alright, we're gonna shoot at something else. Maybe I can Argo something. Like, let's shoot this wolf. Yeah, I definitely was hitting that fish. That means I wasn't killing the fish this whole time. That can't be right. That fish should be dead by now. That was just a piranha. Let's try this one more time. Unless it's stuck behind something that I can't see. That could be what's going on here. There's uh, something that's not rendered in. Nope, I was just shooting a really high level 256 prana. Nope, we're out. We're out. <laughs> oh, 
I'm going to need some fortification stuff if I'm going to come back in here. Like, I definitely feel like building some kind of, like, box for protection, and then we could, like, shoot stuff. Because there's no way... I just put so many rounds in that fish, it's ridiculous. And that's not even the worst part about this cave. <laughs> there's direwolves, and there's monkeys down here. So, I'm going to head home. <gasps> there's a spawn up there now. Alright, let's test this puppy out. Say I got in a pinch and I needed to go up there. Can I get up there? Oh, I guess I can. Boom! Look at that. Alright, what do we get in here? Really? Primitive hide shirt. This is supposed to be like high-end caves. You're supposed to be in like a group. And I went in here and I got a primitive shirt. <laughs> Literally, it's one of those things where I went someplace and all I got was this lousy shirt. <laughs> Except it's not even a shirt. It's a recipe for a shirt, right? Or did I get... No, I did get a shirt. It makes sense. Oh! Alright, I'm out. I'm out of this cave. We're going to have to spend some more time in planning to get these things. But I think this one might be a little more doable than um, that stinking swamp cave. And I will see you guys next time.